Whenever I feel kinda bored sitting at my desk or not really having anything doing, I hop on this brilliant application called Wake Walk. It sounds like TikTok, right? Yeah, this application has that same satisfying scroll. But instead of the dances and memes, you get to learn a lot with this application. Real random useful knowledge. And this app is beautifully clean with a modern interface, nothing complicated and no ads. Every swipe takes you to a new Wikipedia article. It could be history, it could be tech, it could be about anything. And that is the beauty, you get to learn little different things. And if you get interested in a certain information, you can tap the read more button to learn more. You can make favorites, share them, plus it supports several languages. And so if you want to be productive even at your free time, this app is free, open source, easy to use and can teach you a lot. Every single scroll teaches you something new and it's weirdly addictive in the best way. I test and use several applications and not only do I install apps from the Play Store, so for applications installed from third-party sources, waiting around for app updates can be frustrating. But updates are also important, so I use this application called APK Updater to make sure I always have the latest versions of applications to install. The app pulls updates from everywhere, APK Mirror, AppToid, FDroid, APK Pure, GitHub, and even from Google Play itself. And it's not just for updates, you can search for new applications across all these platforms too, and it's fully compatible with Android 5 to Android 14, you can schedule background checks for updates, you get notified automatically, and if the source allows it, it can install updates for you directly. It even shows from which source the update is from for each application, and the app interface looks great with material you design, lights and dark themes, and full material you integration if you are on Android 12 or newer. And the best part, no ads, no tracking, and it's completely free. The next app is a very simple but useful one. It is called Batley. And of course, keeping your phone's battery healthy isn't just some nerdy hobby anymore. It is something every user should care about if they actually want their phone to last. This app gives you real insights starting from one of the most underrated metrics, the charge cycle count. Once you begin using this application, it starts reading the charging. Alongside that, it shows you real-time battery health statistics, the charging status, and even detailed voltage readings, applications using battery the most, and detailed app usage time. The interface is clean, modern, and super smooth. It is very lightweight and doesn't require internet. I've been using Google's Gallery application for a very long time, and I still have it on my phone. But one incredible open-source Gallery application I recently came across and it's currently my go-to is this one called Talsi. And since most Android Gallery applications either bombard you with ads, ask for weird permissions, or keep pushing you to use cloud backups you don't even want, Talsi Gallery throws all that out of the window. It is private, feature-rich, and actually well-built. The whole design just feels intentional, from the smooth animations to the perfect rounded corners, and it's got that balance of good-looking and being practical. You can browse your photos in a clean grid view or switch to a date grouped layout if you like things organized by timeline. And if you are someone who likes details, you get full metadata, everything from file info to location and date. And show me a gallery application that gives you the option to erase exit data from files. This one does, and that is so awesome. You can rename, move files between folders, and also move files to a secure folder with encryption. You get full offline image editing with filters, adjustment tools, and drawing. You can add text, blur images, plus a bunch more. And the material you design integration tops it all for me. But what makes this application stand out is how much it respects your privacy. There are no ads, no trackers, no weird data collection happening in the background. And unless you choose to use Google's Lens for visual search, this app works entirely offline. There is a trash bin so you can recover accidentally deleted images and advanced search by name, date, or even content. You just give this application a try, you will love it, trust me. When it comes to daily habits tracking, there are two applications which are my go-to. Loop Habits Tracker, which I've mentioned before in a recent video, and this one called Routine Tracker, both open source applications. In terms of app design, I love this one the more. It is very simple and clean, straight to the point, but still has that modern design. So you just tap the plus button to add your daily routines, add all necessary details, and it starts tracking. It shows your current streak and your longest streak as well, and you can delete anything if you want. Everything is laid out neatly in a calendar so you can track your completions and streaks. 
Add to that a clean material UI interface with dynamic colors, light and dark modes, landscape support, and you've got a planner that looks good doing the work. It works entirely offline, it never asks for your data, it has no ads, no subscriptions, plus no in-app purchases. Consider subscribing to the channel and also comment below your favorite open source applications you use every day. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and as always, thank you for watching.